today. Uh, we haven't seen like huge, huge big plays, but I do want to get a little bit fired up. I want to see the teams get a little bit fired up. We saw a little bit of banter up there between two of the captains, I believe, or two of the players. Okay, so it looks like, yep, T2. Oh, no. Uh, names got to be switched. But it looks like we're going to have uh, Bustio is, yep, definitely on the Hanzo. And then we got Far on the Widow. And we're seeing Kefri on the Widow. And Simi, yep, yep, is exactly as it's predicted. So They both know exactly what they're going to run. They say, you know what, we're just going to take the duel right away. Car Q, we're is not the even only one. Car Q is the only one that is actually kind of flipping on it. Because instead of going with a Mercy, he's, he's dealing with his Anna, which he's very yeah. comfortable with. No one's been using her a lot. Yep. Um, but he could... On an instant, just like change. He's been he's been running through all the support gamuts the entire time he's been playing. Uh, but Insomnia Q is going to be going right out the gate with Mercy, so they're going to have Res on their side that could easily is just way more powerful yeah. uh, than just having like a respawn. Say Car Q gets dropped or someone else gets dropped, Car Q can't do anything about that. Though yeah. he can prevent the healing going on from any kind of push, you know, with, right. with the grenade. But you know that's that's still if you get if you get it, Insomnia all he needs to do is just be wary of the position he's at when he wants to get that Res. Yeah. And, um, you know, you see here Zergling is one of the most deadly Zenyatas we've seen today or in all of the tournament. Uh, you know, 4180, you know, with 2169 Elims and his trance is over almost at 3000. That's pretty impressive considering that he wasn't getting many transcendences and he wasn't getting pulled into grabs as much. Alright, so we're going to get started right here. Far is positioned out. I'm trying to see if anyone's going to try to peek. Be a little bit patient. Oh, no, he's on the left. He does see the shot though, so he will be yep. able to try and determine where Kefka is. Yep, that's the big thing. The first widow that shoots is gonna. Ooh, Boosty. Uh, not Boosty, excuse me. Uh, Samito was kind of trying to clutch it out. Sonic Ooh. Arrow is out with Kefri on the ground, not actually in a, in a higher location, so. Yeah, both of these teams are playing really, like, really passive. Nobody really wants to take that first initial push and try to take somebody out. Ooh, but there we go. Well, there Kefri we go. Kefri that's the first kick. Now uh, we're gonna see a quick push going forward. Lucio also just getting tacked on a little bit, just on 80 health. Any other shot will do it. Stiff is down, so Ryans are down on both sides. There's only one DPS set on one side. Patty is trying to survive real quick. Unfortunately, he did not. Bustio is able to pick up two, so I do believe they have three up, but now Bustio does drop, so now it's just the uh, two healers and the Widowmaker. Yeah, but we know Far can absolutely come and take this back from three of them. Doesn't look like he's going to try, though. No, unfortunately. They're going to respect that, and they're going to back up, and they're going to say, you know what, we're going to regroup. We're not going to, you know, get cocky, start pushing in, get staggered. I don't remember seeing Karku get picked off early unless he decided to just turn back and just get the Mercy. Uh, I don't the believe. Oh, no, he switched because he's at 70% yep. right now, so he was he just swapped at the last second. So we are looking at a just straight-up copy. Yep, copy it's a mirror comp. Yep. And uh, now it's all just eyes about are out. Picks. Lucio needs to watch his dome. Alright, move out the way. Sonic Arrow is up, so I know Kefri is up there. And he's seeing Far does take out me. Oh, and he takes out Karku afterwards, right when he was trying to get the res. Yeah, That's but Kefri answers back with two. With just one. Three. Okay, back to two. Four. Four. All right. All right, excuse me. Sir, sir, someone check his mouse. Check yeah. his mouse. T2 needs something to be able to combat back with this, man. They're so just he, not yep. being able and to Samito uh, just throwing out the ult just to kind of... He's up a little bit. Kefri is left on the on the left side by himself. And right now, it's on the not noticing he was getting picked. And there's a six. Uh, He's on a six player kill streak at least right now. He, he has not been contested. I don't know if something saw me. I just noticed he was getting clipped early on, but he just left his body there. That three man, he just he just yeah. let loose. He kind of broke the chains. He's really just kind of destroying this entire map right now. He's really controlling the other team. But Far does get a pick off onto uh, Samito. Onto a Samito yeah, so Insomniac should be able to just come back and res that real quick. Does, does not want to have to wait on that res. Oh, and then Far oh. takes hard cue, but Kefri takes it behind the back. Going to try to return the favor. Looking to get that. Uh, that Mercy that just flew away. But Bustio now clipping him. Nice. Storm arrow. Didn't Bustio let him move is away. Take him out. Very good, very good. So Kefri's reign has kind of been dropped. Bustio's now in full range to just let loose. There are no DPSs that can challenge him right now. Yeah, Screen Weave maybe is going to have to back up, but they've done a very well job at holding ultimates. And Samita's probably going to have his uh, dragons. They're most likely going to hold grab for that. But right now, T2 bots, they have the combo locked and loaded. I have a feeling we're about to see two grabs. So, right? Sonic Arrow out just to see the situation. Ooh, that's a very far shot. All right, they know. They, they both definitely know that this is now a deal. Going to Samito, trying to go for a quick flank on the right side. There it is, and there's a combo. They know it's down. Yep, and that's going to be four right there. Samito did know. does get taken down, though. Yep. 
But Zarya is down as well, so Samita won't be doing much uh, with that ult unless he wants to use it for some sort of uh, zoning. He does know he's there. Oh, Spar just slightly misses it. Oh, headshot going. Oh. Oh, wow. He still was able to get him, did though. That not, is impressive. Did not affect him. If I'm going down, you're coming with me. Yep. Nicely done, nicely done. So, with that, though, so Boosty just at 24%. It's going to take a while for Fatty to get uh, his ult back for Zarya to actually combo again. So that means, guess what? The other team has it set and locked yeah, exactly. and loaded. Uh, but they do have, Zergling does have the Zen ult on deck, which he has been very good at holding it right. past this tournament when it comes to that combo. So it's been thrown. And yep, there goes the ult. So T2 yep. bots are holding strong. They did not get anything more other than Stimp getting dropped down by Steve and Busio getting dropped as well by Zen. But he's gonna get, Stimp's going to get res real fast by uh, Car Cube. Now Kefri going to town. Far is also being put down by Stimp. There are, there's no one that can also go against Kefri at the moment. So they're just going to take the second point right off the bat. Even though they had it right, Zergling did pop ult correctly. Unfortunately, it just wasn't enough. Oh, don't stick your head out. You know, Busio's just trying to play the way he always plays, where he gets super aggressive, but you just can't do that with Kefri. Kefri will punish you if you try to 1v1 him and you come into the back line like that, like he did, and then he'll come back and try and get your team on a flank when they have nobody to protect them. You know, they have to start giving him some space and start respecting how good he is. Like, they can't just run into him and expect to just get a free pick. Right, Kefri obviously is not going to let that happen. Oh, man, just getting left behind there. See, the thing about it, Kefri's been very good about keeping behind the shield. Like, even at his angles, the shield is still in front of him. Might not be directly, but it's enough that it's going to stop the other Widow from getting a good shot on him. And Samita already on deck with uh, with alt, so... And so is Technique. This is it. They are stuck in that mini. Ooh, they are not going anywhere. Shattered. Uh, it was slightly on the right, and because of the incline, it right. was going to stop. Far does... is able to pick up Stick, though, so... Samita with a whiff on but that. they are able to... Wow, so that's going to be a really, really fast cap. Uh, didn't expect that to come from Spring Wave onto uh, Wait, look at T2. Go, bro, did you see that four? I just had that on lock. Yeah, anyway, it's crazy. My mouse I, is good. I still think T2 can come back from this. I really don't think that they're in a bad position here. You know, everybody has bad games. I think both of these teams are really well, but... It's feeling it out. Got to feel the field a little yeah. bit, all right? Um, so Screen Wave on Cloud9. Boo. The, the, these are the <laughs> villains right now. I do not want to see that. It's great play. I don't want them to win, but great play, though. Oh man, that yeah, that kept free like three or four. It was like four, it and then was four, and then he got went to like two another more two more right he was, afterwards. He was that, at least on a six-player kill streak. Yeah, that was God a lot. Knows how much more? That was a lot of tempo that we had right there. And T two trying to think, hmm, what what do we have to do? I'm assuming that, we're gonna see still the same comp. Yeah, it's most likely gonna be the exact same composition, and then mirrored as well on attack and defense. I really don't see either team even trying to change it up because they know what works for them and they know what the other team's gonna run. And just playing the mirror is probably their best option right now. Some, sometimes knowing exactly what the other team is doing yep. with the same comp is also just as, a, as useful as a weapon that's trying to counter it. Exactly. All right. Let's see if T2 can just shake off, shake off the little bit of a uh, little bit of salt that they have there. But for two minutes and twenty nine seconds, I was still pretty good. We've been seeing a little bit, an average more of like in the three minute spot when it came to uh, screen wave. I haven't seen them in overtime yet either, so I think this is the closest they've been at. Yeah, so they were able to hold him for a little bit. But like I said, man, Kefri just starts to put on his carry pants, and he likes to literally just start rolling. And once he starts going, he really can't stop. But Karku, uh, you can't knock him, though. His healing has been on point. He's been at the right positions, knows when to retreat or when to move to just make sure his teammates are still alive. And Tech, Technia has just been, like, fully charged yep. most of the time. Like, it's not, it's not a, you know, due to, like, blind spamming, but it's just he knows exactly when to hit the bubble. They are being in sync. They need... So that oh, oh, Busio, don't Busio. put your head out, man. There's a fence there. That's chain link. That goes through things. Wow, and he's oh able to get Zergling. Zergling. He's getting dropped in far and again. Far. Oh, Mercy, don't poke your head out, girl. Ryan, your shield. We got angles. Ooh, that's rough. That's an instant hold right there. And he's already looking for uh, Far to come up top there. Yep. At one point, are they going to feel like, okay, we need to swap it out? Bustio still trying to feel for that, for that shot. You know, Busio needs to play behind his shield a lot more now. He's getting really aggressive. He's getting a little angry. Jeffrey Maybe popping walls Kefri. already. Fatty taking out uh, Technia. I don't know if he's going to get a rest from uh, uh, from Cart Q from that. Yeah, so the healers know that they have walls, so they're not really pushing Ooh. out. They don't want to give uh, Kefri that free kill. Oh, man. Far getting dropped. Busio now. 
going going in. There we go. Yeah. He, he said sorry. My screen was off. That's yeah. that's what T2 happened. T2 said it's our turn for the sniper duel. Yeah. We're winning this one now. Nice, nice. And they're just going to start rolling. Right on the same. Oh, let's go for the mercy. Yep. All right, shield up. He's going to wait. So this is that crucial turn. This is that death turn right here where we're going to see if Fatty's only at 62%. While Techni is actually only at 51, so he's beating him in that sense. And Samito does not have ult yet. That's true. But then again, Samito didn't have to do a lot in the beginning. Exactly. So he didn't really farm a lot because everyone was kind of dead. Bustio was able to clean up a lot, which gave him a lot of his ult charge. All so, right. you know, he so, will probably be waiting here for Fatty's so uh, grab. We'll see if, uh, if, if Samito wants to do a, a, another flank this way. We saw him earlier do it on this map when he was on attack. If he's going to go for it on... Oh, oh he, knows, he knows he's there. Valkyrie also on deck for both sides, so as soon as uh, if this becomes a brawl, those wings will be flying. It looks like Busia was gonna go and try and uh, maybe combo. Try to get gonna, a little bit of. He might just go for a flank ult. Let's see for a flank ult on the right. Oh, okay, wow. good shot. Oh, I thought that actually hit. No, that yeah. did hit. Okay. It was blocked. I think he no, did think that I, his shield I, was going to break. I think, that, I think tech. I think technique actually got clipped. That's why he just got put out. But Lucio just cleaning up the work right there, and Jeffrey getting dropped by Fatty. These two, the dynamic duo, are striking pretty hard. We got walls on deck, so they have plenty of time to actually just push up and see exactly where everyone's gonna be at for the next yep. fight. No one can hide. There we go. And T2 is about to cap this second point, and it's gonna He's be. Gonna, they have the potential to cap it faster than uh, Screenwave did. Look to get that pick. I wonder if they're going to just try to maybe do a little bit of zoning. But I mean, Fatty does have his ult on deck, so he just needs to land it. Oh, oh he okay, gets clipped. Yo. He's probably going to get res there. But. He knew he was looking for it. Yeah, it was going to happen regardless, but he knew. Oh, oh, but he picks him up again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I got a receipt for that. That kill was mine. He yeah. got that. And the grab comes out from T2. They probably didn't need to use it there. I feel like it's kind of personal at this point now. Yeah. That's I can getting, feel the tension between these two teams. I can feel the uh, the snipers getting really angry at each other. They're both performing insanely well, having insanely good games. But it makes sense. Like, you know, you take out the Hanzo, which is going to be a very big part. Oh, there we go. Ult gets thrown just to kind of create that space. With nothing to, to rewind from that. To reward for that. Yeah, it looks like Samita oh, might go for man, a... Man, Lucio. Jeffrey like, just... Oh, don't. Sure. Watch your head. Oh, goodness. Real close. Oh, Lucio man, was able to pick up CT earlier. That's really good, though. But here comes the uh, Valkyrie from Karku. He's probably going to try to res, but he couldn't get there. Busio picks him up. Nice. That's the they're not getting any cult, uh, cart movement, though. As you can see, their uh, Reinhardt's holding him straight there, and I think he actually did the lock. There we go. Chat. We got a flank. We got a flank. Oh, we were waiting for that. Busio was staying in the back line for a little bit, but then Techni decides to pick him down. Samito so takes out far, and uh, Steve is just going to be held in there for that combo. All right. There goes the... Okay, he just used it. He's at 30%. Yeah. Like, five seconds in. Or even four seconds in. It's pretty impressive how quickly these guys can uh, generate their ultimates like that. Unfortunately, Bustio now only at 26%. It's going to be a little bit, but Fatty is already uh, halfway through his, so that one's going to happen. There we go. Bustio, here you go, buddy. Just had your name on it. Uh, let's see if Samito is going to try to swing back. Bustio, there Lucio's we go. Taking out more. Oh, he does get shattered, though, but it does look like they're going to try to keep him up. Yeah, they were able to take out their Reinhardt. You need to keep the damage alive. And with this transcendence, they're going to be able to walk right through the rest of these Karku. players right here. Yep, Karku is going to get dropped now. All right. Lucio, so Lucio is going to be able to show. zone zone with his ult real quick. All right, so Diva's coming out. Unfortunately, he ain't going to be able to stall. Very good. I actually do believe that T2 took it quicker than Screenwave by a couple seconds. It has to be very close. See how much we'll see when it comes through. This is a very close game. All right, them so they're, they're feeling themselves a little bit. Get hydrated out of that Coke bottle. You decided to fill up. <laughs> Man, so it was getting pretty. That sniper duel was yeah. like starting to kind of just go back and forth. Um, it got to Bustio decided to actually do that that little flank alt uh, from behind the team to kind of get rid of the the Rhine uh, the Rhine shield very late on. Right. So that let the avenue for for Far to kind of go in afterwards. Yeah, and you know T2, they've kind of been going into games where their their snipers weren't as contested as they are now. They're not being as challenged as much in other games. So this is really their first map that they've been, like, actually having to try and not get sniped constantly. You know, you have Kefri and Steema. They're really good, and they can actually you know 
compete with T2 and actually have a, a really good uh, outcome on this. Well, this is the first step that's going to go to a potential four. That it has not happened yet all tournament. Everyone's just been three, either, you know, 3-0, 3-1, 3-2. When it comes to the actual map series itself right here. Um, well, yeah, we're actually going to get to maybe potentially four, five, or six. Uh, so you were right. T2 did get it faster. Uh, not and not even, I'm saying that a little bit. It's 29 seconds. That's so solid. That's, that's solid. solid. Yeah, that's wow. time. So with that, that's going to make Screen Wave actually go ahead and be on the attack. So is there any changes here? Uh, besides Samito now, instead of going for the Hanzo, it is changing for the Genji. Woo. Yeah, there is a questionable pick. pick. I don't know if they wanted to stop doing the... Uh, they were winning the sniper goal just as easily as uh, T2 was, so I'm not sure what Ooh. they thought. Every guy clipped on that. He just waited. But he's going to get that quick res. He knows Mercy was behind her, so he's trying to hunt her down. Oh, nice. looking at the wrong way. Again. That was too far off. You get it? I got it. There you go. <laughs> And Genji, yeah, not working out for Sumido. He might be potentially using that pick so that way he can dive more on the Zen because the Zen ult is what has been keeping uh, the T2 bots alive, especially during those combo situations. Their lane has been very, very patient when hitting Q, so they want to kind of get rid of that right now so that way they have more of an opportunity to get more value. Yeah. The only problem with doing a lot of damage is that you feed the uh, enemy's support yes. ultimates as yes. well, so Karki's yep. coming up on a battle yep. pretty soon here. So we got, we got walls up right now. Looking for Kefir. Yep. Yeah, both shields oh. very low. Headshot right there. Yeah. Couldn't finish him off. see where everyone's at. Oh, okay. Samito so actually did make the switch back to Hanzo. It was not working out. And Far went ahead with the uh, with the res. Or res uh, excuse me, Far did get res. Hanzo all just to uh, try and, I guess, maybe uh, zone some people out. It's hard to kill people on an angle like that. Oh, Pustio, man. jump shot on Kefri. Oh, very good. I thought that came from the left. And Far dropping more. This is... They are looking good, but unfortunately... Yeah, it is just the tanks and Mercy on point, and both the snipers are just there. And yeah, but they're giving, the giving two ticks like that, that unfortunately. It's really good. It's just horrible. Oh, wow. He does actually uh, nail the Mercy, but... Oh, my God, wow. I thought he actually saved him there for a second. Yeah, all right, so that's going to give him the first point. 37 second hold. So now it's going to get to that point where if they don't make it to the second point within that 30 seconds now, here's the nightmare. If you don't make it to the streets past 30 seconds, guess what? You're stuck in those streets with a potential Zarya Hanzo ult on deck that could just wipe you and you right. have to stay on the payload. And what's unfortunate is that the cart really doesn't move that quickly, so they're probably going to be in a really bad position for yep. us right now. And we're actually getting really close to that combo, so one solid combo from that will do it. And in 10 seconds, they can't step off the cart yep. and they will lose. That's it. They will uh, stop their push. Go. Let's see. Three, two, one. Say hello. No. All right. There we go. There's the there, there's the other combo. But we got it reversed on the other side with Samito going with the combo first. Oh my goodness. That's gonna guarantee them to push halfway through, and they're no longer in that danger zone. Shout outs to Kenny Loggins. Uh, yeah, but when, when it comes to the the point two travel. They may have used their combo there, but I'm not sure if we're going to actually, if they're actually going to be trying to, uh, you contest? know, no. contest this no, no, for no, this. No, 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 I don't, I don't believe so. It's too close. Oh, man. With, uh, so Steve is going right in. Yep, they decided to hit the, uh, the actual combo there. I mean, they are still in overtime. They're not going to gain anything, so... The fact that he's still there, you go. Yeah, All right, right back. Four. If they only would have done that earlier, yeah. Like, unfortunately, they were so they were pushed up so much that they they knew they the Greenways knew that they had to push up because if they were gonna get a lot of in that same situation and give them the time and space to actually get that combo going, they were gonna right. lose and not get that point. They got the second point. That's about it. Unfortunately, the gate did not go down. The payload did not move any for, further, so they're at a, at five points right now. Right. Um. So now we're going to have to see if they can defend themselves. Yeah, it is really unfortunate that T2 couldn't use their grab earlier. Yeah. I mean, they didn't want to risk using it if they were grabbed and they knew they were going to die to the Hanzo ult. And Correct. who knows if you guys are going to be able to get that Hanzo ult off in time to actually be able to do anything with it. Yeah. Like better yeah. just to hold it. You know, I think T2 is but, but they not don't too worried too. about letting them go a little bit farther. Yeah, they, they're, they're not too, uh, they're not like seem too disappointed with the fact that they just right. had to make it all the way to five because they feel like they can make that. They're okay with giving them a point instead of wasting an ultimate and maybe they got it to six, you know? They, they were like, if we waste this right now, they could possibly push it all the way to last. Correct. How about we so just give them this point, the, the we'll use our combo, yeah. and we'll, end, we'll cut, end this push right here. Cut the losses. Okay, I can respect that, I can respect that. 
you know, and I personally would have been like, I want it done. Like, just do it. You know, I would have been funny. yelling Q so hard. T2 actually does have uh, 30 seconds extra than Screen Wave had, so that mm -hmm. could actually make a huge difference yes. in a push because wow. that Correct. is one whole team fight. But, but we got Kepri who's been flexing a little bit, and we see what he's picked right here. That is true. This might make or break certain things. You know, there we go. Guess what? Ryan by himself. Well, let's focus Ryan on if that's hey, put that, put that wall. Out. Yeah, but that wall, actually, I was going to say, that wall is not going to stay there forever, so that first attempt is gone. Now they know that Kepri is on. Is on the mech. They know exactly what's going on. They know exactly what to expect. That was exactly. really well played by Steve. Good. Exactly so far, so far is not going to have more time and more, uh, more area to play with than before. Because now they don't have to worry about a widow and a Hanzo. Just, just the Hanzo, really. I mean, sure, can they potentially hit? Yeah, with certain icicles, right clicks, they do hurt. And then <laughs> on top of that, you got the wall that can also prevent the, the the line of sight from happening. But. Uzi, unfortunately, was not able to get uh, the heals in time, so he got taken out far. Yeah, they're just going to have to go ahead and back up here. There's just yeah. no point in even trying to fight this out anymore. But, you know, this is really good information for T2. They know exactly what they want to do. See, far switches over yep. to the far. They're going to respond to this. They're going to respond to this perfectly because of this May. Yep. And Bustio and Bustio needs to really keep in check uh, that Alejandro because he's going to be the only one able to deal with it. But so Mercy's right. just gonna be hanging around with Faro, so like those icicles from Kepri are not gonna be able to kill her unless he gets like a solid headshot. Oh, or Samito decides to put one on her back. There goes the ult. It's right on your body right there. That's more of a dodge. Yep, more of a zoning, but it's two tanks that you got on the right side, so you're not gonna be able to just like put them down that easily. So they're just pushing up now. Ryan with that shit. There we go. Good uh, good uh, good ult. The Zen ult did go up, but it was a little bit late, and Blue gets to get a 3k kill from that. That's definitely gonna give them the point. And Mercy's gonna try and uh, <laughs> she's okay. sliding across the ground trying to uh, stall that. Yeah, unfortunately, Moore's uh, Moore's Q was just a little like just a little late. Yeah. It did go off when, uh, like I think about a second or so. I think I don't think he had it right away, but it went off about a second right after the uh, Desario all. So and well, actually, uh, I don't think Kepri's actually in the switch because this actually is the best part of King's Row for oh, men. Don't get me directly. Space. Oh, so close, so close. Moore was almost dropped. All right. Looking. Just trying to stop the freeze right there. Yeah, that is unfortunate. You still freeze in the air. Yes, yes. Does not Blizzard, does not Blizzard, please. Blizzard, please. 30 seconds, and they have this choke right here with Tech having the grab on deck. Um, yeah, this we is do looking too good for T2 right here. They're going to just also just freeze them up right out of spawn. They have to go from another angle. They know Kefri wants it. But doing that, they don't. That means I know that you know. So now we're gonna play this game. See what I mean? Yep. Yeah. And Kefri knows he's over there, and now they have to pick either that Zarya or Hanzo. They really can't walk into the scrap. They will not survive. Zenyatta Trans will not save them from the damage boost. Oh man, not be able to see. Uh, Far gets a kill. Samito gets a 2K with his ult. They need to take care of Kefri real quick, but he's getting pocketed pretty well. Getting wow, that's a really put good on wall him. placement by Kefri. Yep. Uh, actually, cutting off the supports. The, uh, supports for a little bit. Uh, unfortunately, they're not yeah. going to make it past that. That's going to be a, uh, a first map win by uh, Screen Wave. Yeah, really well played. Kefri played a really well May there. It made sense. It made sense to do it. The whole point is to just cut off the support. You, what, what good is a team of six? Even if we have a mirror, what good is that team if I'm going to be able to cut off at least two of your characters? Yeah. And if that... You know, especially not just, not just supports at that. Yes, exactly. So uh, I, instead of you know doing the mirror and saying who's better on that, I'm just gonna play the game of I'm just gonna cut down your resources early on, and I'm we're gonna be in an advantage anyway. Right. Um, and you know, this, this just goes to show how much Kefri can like just flex to any other kind of DPS it's, or it's, defense. It's heroes. just that little extra of just adapting to kind of just change it a little yep. bit. There was no point in just going for the mirror. He had enough. You know, Bustio showed enough prevalence that he could take care of the DPS. Right. Uh, May does still do damage, but it's just her utility is just that much better. So using that wall to separate the team like that made very big pushes uh, and, made, and better advantageous situations for their team right. that made it very hard, like even just spawning. Like they knew May was going to be there just to lock them up. And guess what? Because I knew I'm just going to make sure we're wasting time. So exactly. what if you got 30 seconds more on me? If you got those 30 seconds, you're looking at a wall, it doesn't matter. Exactly, yeah. You're doing absolutely nothing, and I'm over here doing exactly what I want to do to the rest of your team. Yeah, so they so that's that little extra that Screen Wave has been showing um, yeah. in the tournament that's putting them at this position where they've just gone, you know, 
with no losses. So T2 right. needs to take that into effect and kind of apply it themselves where they need to yep. adapt and change. They, they're, they're just going to have to do it. They're forced to do it or else this is going to repeat the entire way. Yeah, and it's a little unlucky for T2. They haven't had to uh, flex really that much to like switch it up. This is really the first time we see Kevri having to switch over to the May so, you know, so aggressively to try and, you know, combat somebody as strong as the team as T2 is. So now we might actually see T2 start to uh, try and change up some compositions and get some free picks over here. All right, so hopefully T2 looking at themselves, trying to double check. Check all their marks, making sure they're correct and what they're bringing. Uh, and we got, yo, shout outs to Bulma and Goku in the back, by the way. <laughs> yeah, yo, he does not want to talk to you. He is way oh, more man, interested no in love. her crash time. <laughs> all right. It's all right, buddy. I'll talk to you. That's all right. We, we, got, yeah, we got each other. <laughs> Oh, there Sunglass go. buddies forever. Yeah. All right. Is this the live stream, by the way? Did everyone just see that? Eh, whatever. That's I'll let it rock. All right. So we are here at Hanamura. Oh, well, let's let's just take a look at the god himself, apparently. Yeah, 59 win percentage is a uh, Widowmaker. Sol solid. This I is current. I think mine's at about a three. Yeah. So that's pretty impressive What's to me. Negative? What's negative <laughs> of, uh, of, of a card when you get a negative card? and everything yeah. just gets downvoted. That's what I get. Wow. All right, so T2 bots on the defense here. So Screen Wave will be attacking. Uh, I was gonna say, I saw a Doomfist for a second there, but Stim decided to flip it. Going with the patented Reinhardt the whole way. Yeah, it looks like T2 is just gonna go straight out here for the dive. They know that they're gonna have to dive some uh, snipers here. Yep, that's the, that's the only big difference. Tech is still laying on that Zarya. I mean, no reason not to. Nice hook. Kefri just scoping out as to what's going on. Samito gonna get a lay of the lance, even get a pick. Oh, top left, where are you going? Ooh, wow, was that just enough, but Far takes him down, looking the wrong way. But he knows Far is on the right. Kefri's super low, had to grab a pack there. I just don't think his healer's solid. All right, so. Anyway, slowly starting to move in here. Yeah, we're yep. T2 to the uh, right hand side. Going a little bit unchecked right now. Kefri at 43%. Busio at 56 already, so he can potentially zone. Oh, he did not yeah, notice Amido on the left. They're coming in from behind him now. They're going to start attacking his back line. But it does look like they are way too spread out right now. Busio is way oh. deep into their uh, spawn. Or it looks like Screen Wave is going to uh, capitalize on this overextension. Yeah. Yep. They, they, they just they kind of just spread out a little too hard, and now you got to deal with this. Uh, they're going to try to stall for as long as possible, but it's going to be a quick first take for uh, Screen Wave. All right, so we're going to begin with another three minutes added onto the board. Let's go for that. There we go. Six minutes, 30 seconds on the clock. Got to hold the second point of Hanamura. Talk about nightmares. Oh, yep, he sees the streak. He knows he's there. He's just looking for him. He's patiently waiting. Oh, he's you really have not to. You move. have to. At, at this point, like one pick like that is going to be very, very, very advantageous for them. Oh, there goes the ultimate. Ultimate. coming up. Right? They have so many ultimates right now. So Mito, actually, we're going to start using Mito trying to go in to actually capitalize on that Zarya ult. Unfortunately, nothing was going on. Uh, and then just going with the with the support ult from more. And the point is just being contested. Still, only one person is there. Technique is by himself. Oh, now we got the the mercy. Oh. Kefri is picking up Bustio and Eva as well as the Winston. Yeah, we see Bustio and uh, Far have kind of switched the roles on the uh, yeah, Slankers. Not checking his dome. There we go. Bustio taking care of the though. And Car Q. And the Techni is also on a rampage right now. It's immediate. It did not matter. It did yeah, not matter. No matter how many picks you get. If you don't take out that Genji that's on your back line, taking out your healers and your uh, and your other sniper, you know, yeah. you're not really gonna win that point when you only have three people. Something who's pausing. Oh no. Okay, someone's someone's getting uh, I think the scientific term is the bubble guts right now. Yeah. People are getting like I think everybody just wants to go to the bathroom. Everybody's starting to say they're sick. Is this is this Overwatch play? Oh you just need a Tums. Brought to you by Tomes. There you go. I don't know what company makes these. <laughs> Me neither. All right, so five minutes and 28 seconds. Yeah, that's a lot of time in the time bank. 
you know, and we've seen people get full held here on uh, Hanamura. And once again, we're seeing the changes on screen wave. Samito did swap out to that Genji for that second point. They're adapting. Once he threw that ult out at the last point, that was the be dead giveaway. He's like, all right, cool. We're going to get this point. I'm just going to switch real quick. Yeah. Uh, they, I think they're still just worrying about that Zergling uh, with, you know, the Zenyatta in the background. He, he wants to go for the back line. That's just like the Achilles heel. You get through with that, that's it. This team will just fall apart. You know, and I think that's exactly what T2 is trying to do. They're trying to throw them off a little bit because they know Screenwave is doing that right to them by throwing in the May and the Genji, Correct. throwing Boostio onto Widowmaker. And, and again, another May stage. That is right. So Kefri yeah. just opting out for it. That main choke, if that wall goes up, separates anybody, guess what? You are dead. Yeah. There is no coming back. It would be and a then, miracle for you to survive. And then, and then there goes all that time. It's like a full 30 seconds. So I wonder Almost if they're... Okay, so far, far going with the, the, the road. The Bustio's on Widow. Would he stay on road? Really interesting. A little beefier. Um, I'm not sure what that would lend besides, you know, maybe a potential pick early with right. a hook, just throwing it out there. Uh, especially if you hook and say Kefri is, is slow on the wall, you just you just walled your own teammate out. Exactly. But and then if, if you can try to get that wall baited out, you know, and survive it and just not get caught by it, that's when you start pushing in and you know she only has one more cooldown left and correct. then she's pretty much dead if you all capitalize on that. We'll see if far stays or last minute pick. It's right at the door. Let's see. We're going to see some Roadhog. Oh my God, we got some Hog. Yeah, they're going to run triple. I pack. smell bacon. Yes. That bacon's looking good. Let's see how it goes. Let's see. First hook. 100% hook accuracy. All right, waiting for the shield. He's patiently waiting. He knows yep. they got a lot of stuff to block his hook. That really Ryan shield good. has to stay up. There we go. And you're kind of putting out that, that wall yep. now. Sure, it kills yep. a little bit of time, but now you don't have to worry about someone like getting cut through so early. Oh, no. Zero percent. Yeah, even though Kefri hit. picks up Bustio, they are able to get the rest. And the wall, again, is just not getting any real value right here. They just should just wait and just get a full regroup, heal up, and then push in. Yeah, Roadhog being beefier is kind of make it a little bit harder, especially with that self healing. All right, he screen, did separate. Screenwave is holding to the right hand side really hard here. They should, I think T2 oh. should just push straight into the point. Obviously not after an ultimate like that. All but, was uh, hanging, but Samita was going unchecked. I don't know what Bustio was doing half that time. He should have just waited on it. Yeah, uh, he didn't want them walking through his choke. He really didn't. And that's gonna send him right back to spawn. All right, so far I guess decided the bacon was not cutting it. And actually, even Fatty's switching it up. So we got Eve up with Fatty, uh, and Bustio's going with Tracer. So much more diving. We're, right. we're, so they're not just gonna play the patient game and wait at the choke. They're just gonna go in. So uh, Genji, not such a big deal to get walled off because he can always just escape anyway with his mobility. Yep. And with the deflect up, he's pretty much can't do anything about it. Oh, Bustio just getting dropped by uh, by May. Yeah, Capri's coming in pretty clutch with some of these picks that he's getting, and it looks like the Mercy was actually with Far, so he wouldn't have been able to res Bustio at all. Oh, that did not look good. They did not go in together. Genji yeah. is still in the back line, just hanging out. Maybe he'll take some attention away. Mercy is also pocketing him still. Oh my god, please, help your healers. Okay. Yeah, and what's pretty unfortunate is the only thing that they can actually um, have to get up there mm, is Hanzo, and he already oh. took care of them. BM, sir. BM. Nothing like a good old tactical crouch to avoid the headshots. So, so about to be a full stack of ults for screen wave. Full stack. All six. Pick a flavor. And they know Ooh, Bustio's in there. Wow. He hits him once. Yep. yep. Storm arrow. Just going to poke in. No. Nah, ran out. Fire will. There we go. We're going to take you Dash on. forward. Oh, she ate it, it actually She yeah. ate it. She ate it. Diva actually ate the arrow in time. They should just back up now while they're using ultimates because we are, like, T2 is just losing people too quickly right now and they just need to stop feeding the ultimates. And they have made no progress. Yeah, just T2 straight zilch. It's about to come up on that, uh, on that blade. Honestly, I can see a Valk blade coming in here to try and make take something it's, like this. It's kind of one of the only, like, they, they need to start pulling some tempo in. I mean, with Genji, it could help. Valk and Genji just popping. And, excuse me, with Nano, uh, with Blade, I was at Nano. Uh, it's gonna be like their only route. He's gonna need healing though, if he's yeah. gonna use that Blade. He will not actually be, he will even be able to hit you. Okay, Snip is down. Let's see if there's gonna be a res on the other side. Oh, Zen now out of the picture. He cannot come in with uh, Transcendence to help or any kind of healing. Who's healed? Not sure what he has to like focus. He's kind of all over the place right now. He wants to go for the Zen, but he can't get the kills early. He did get Kefri out of the picture. There you go, Bustio just getting the uh, damage boost, but unfortunately get the headshot. 
Now we got Blade though on deck, so yeah, this, this far, should be the last one. Oh, he's afraid to go in that room, and I would be too. There are three in there, and that's a fully charged Zarya. You do not want to touch her. Yep, and Kefri now with the tracer to try to come in real quick. Oh, man, there you go. Yeah, now Screenwave's just gonna go ahead and clean up right here. Yeah. That was their only push. Unfortunately, that blade did not get a lot of value in it. He did manage to get uh, Samito, but at that point, we still had our healers there. Not they gonna be much able to get a second touch here just no, because no, of uh, he, that man was deleted. Get dash on and tell him. No, not happening. So that's a full hold right there on uh, on Hanamura. It's T2. We're seeing a whole lot of different plays here tonight. You know, a lot of things I didn't expect. How many times are we going to see this man? <laughs> yep, right there. I'll give it to him. He's pretty good at hitting Q and then following. He's, he's been very consistent with putting Sonic Arrow and just instantly putting it in spot. He's good at reading where everybody wants to go. Yep, uh, you know, placing they were that. Backing up. He didn't even need a grab for that. Nope, that was no grab. That was grabless. So that was pretty legit. I'll give him that one. Uh, can we get the change, please? Thank you. So it's not going to be just over yet, you know. They still got they're, time. They're at that crossroads, man.